Madden 24 is just a couple of months away and within the next week or two we're going to start getting a lot of official information from EA Sports but we already have a pretty good idea of what to expect in Madden 24 at least some of the bigger things and in this video I'm going to be going over the 10 big things that you can expect in Madden 24. Now every year I do a video just like this and about 80% of the things I go over usually wind up being true for the upcoming game. You can check the old videos if you don't believe me but it's pretty easy to predict what's going to be in the the upcoming Madden game because you can look at what EA does with their other games like FIFA. You can also look at some of the stuff they've hinted at throughout the year. If they hinted something or the developers talk about stuff on Twitter, usually that's safe to assume whatever they're hinting at is going to be in the game because they wouldn't do that for no reason if they weren't planning to put it in the game. And some of the stuff along the way gets leaked by very reliable sources. If it's leaked by somebody that has been true pretty much every time in the past, then it's safe to assume that that's going to be in the game. Now we're going to get into the list, but if you don't want to miss out on all the official news it's going to be coming in the next week to 10 days probably make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of the important info when it drops or the gameplay videos so let's start with number one we already know going into madden 24 that this should be a pretty big year for franchise mode which has kind of been the case over the last couple of maddens now for a while franchise mode was very neglected as we all know but the last couple of years they finally started to put more things back into the mode that were removed years ago they added assistant coaches back they added skill trees they redid the scouting system they added a couple other small things as well then last year they updated the entire free agency aspect of the mode which was pretty important so they've been adding stuff every year as part of their quote-unquote recommitment to the mode and this year should be no different we've already heard ea said that they're going to be focusing heavily on the offline aspect of madden 24 especially after the issues that madden 23 had with the franchise mode bugs and the corrupted leagues they got to make it up to franchise fans and they were already i believe planning to do a lot for franchise because they have during the last couple of years but they're going to continue doing that more this year so if you are a franchise mode player hopefully no bugs and no glitches or at least minimal ones but aside from that you definitely can count on them doing some new things for the mode or potentially bringing back some old things that people have been asking for maybe like a creative team for example number two on the list is better contract management now this is going to be part of what they're doing for franchise mode we saw last year they finally did some things with contracts a little bit but nothing too crazy but they've been on record saying that this is an area that they're heavily focused on because they know it's one of the areas the franchise mode is lacking in the most you can't really restructure contracts and customize them they've said this is an area that they want to finally give more freedom to the players and it's also been leaked that this is one of the things that they're heavily focused on so ea themselves said it and the leaks that came later backed it up as well so i would say in mad 24 you could definitely expect some overhauls with the contract management number Number three is new commissioner tools for franchise mode but this isn't just for offline modes this is more so for the online connected cfm now this probably will also be usable for offline single person cfms as well but the commissioner tools usually there's more you can do when you're talking about multi-user leagues and this is something that they've done over the last couple of years they've added some more things for commissioners but they're looking to expand upon that this year ea themselves have already spoken about this specifically so we know it's coming to the game because if they said it was coming then it's coming to the game they said that they wanted franchise mode users to be able to set up their leagues in unique and novel ways so maybe this could mean different realignments this could also again potentially mean adding some different creative team options or at the very least some relocation options but really when you're talking about commissioner tools and the different ways that you can customize a league i mean the list really is kind of endless they can do a bunch of different things here as long as the nfl signs off on it which that's usually kind of the issue as soon as the nfl will not sign off on things but this is definitely an area that they said that they are focused focused on this year so I think if you are an online CFM player especially there's going to be different ways to customize your league this year there's going to be a lot more options for people to explore with their leagues number four is a career mode overhaul and possibly the return of superstar mode now it was leaked a while back that this is a mode that they are also focusing heavily on this year we know they're focusing on offline they've already said it themselves and the leak that came from Mike Straw said that this mode would be getting some welcome changes and overhauls this year year potentially they could be reverting it back to more of a superstar mode and i think with them also making ncaa which is set to come out next summer road to glory in ncaa is one of the biggest modes if not the biggest mode depending on who you ask and the best part about it was that you could transfer that player over to madden well with the way that face of the franchise is currently set up you really wouldn't be able to do it the same way you could do it back in the old days because road to glory would allow you to play with any position it had a little bit more freedom to it whereas face of the franchise is more of kind of a set story that 
you're operating within and you can only be so many positions so i do think they're going to open that up they're going to let you play with more positions whether they change it to superstar mode or keep calling it face of the franchise but change how you actually interact with the mode one way or another this mode should be getting some welcome changes this year and it's definitely one of the modes that needs the most work so i'm definitely curious to see what they're going to be doing now number five is me going out on a limb a little bit but i have a couple of reasons why and i think we're going to see potentially the return of mini camp in franchise mode now the reason i say this is because number one we know it's an offline focus year number two especially we know it's a franchise mode focused year but number three ea themselves said a couple of years ago that this is something they wanted to put back in the game that it was on the roadmap to have mini camp which would include some of the mini games that come with this and if you look at the roadmap i mean we're two years down the road now so it seems like if there was a time to do it it would be about now the last couple of years they added some more important things to franchise again like the coaches redoing the scouting redoing free agency now that they got those things out of the way i would say the two biggest things they need to put back are a mini camp and a creative team and i think mini camp would probably be the thing they would go after first and the reason i say this is because i've been saying it for over five years on this channel if you add mini camp and mini games to franchise mode you can benefit throughout the entire game with something like this because you can still have your mini games where you can play them just for fun or potentially even online like back in the day when you could play rushing attack against other people number six are new gameplay animations and celebrations we know this is coming because i did a video the other day which i will link below in the pinned comment where we saw the motion capture company doing the new animations for madden 24 now last year they added a ton of new animations to gameplay they don't do this every single year they add some new ones but last year was one of the bigger years for them adding new animations because they redid the tackling system with more mid-air collisions with just tackling in general so they added over like a thousand new animations just in that alone but it looks like they're continuing to build on that this year when you look at the new animations that the motion capture company has been posting on their tiktok there's a lot of different tackling more mid-air collisions more broken tackles more jukes and they've also shown some new celebrations like new gritty celebrations that are different from the ones they put in last year and other popular dances that nfl players have been doing so it's always good to see gameplay get some love usually gameplay is going to get a big feature somewhere as well that i'm not really too sure of what it's going to be but i know aside from that we're definitely getting some more animations and some more celebrations to mess around with number seven nerfing abilities i believe this is going to happen in a big way for madden 24 because something that's been very consistent with madden over the years is when something was too powerful one year they try to nerf it the next year or at least they make it way less powerful than it was and abilities over the last few years have kind of been an up and down thing there's always been a few powerful abilities every year and every year that there's one that's too powerful they nerf it the next year to where it's not that good this year they completely removed escape artist from being a regular ability because of how powerful it was but this year we saw just more abilities kind of take on a life of their own like the knockout abilities on defense like some of the abilities on offense that would allow you to make aggressive catches in a crazy way and just a bunch of other different abilities that have been just dominating the game the game has turned into pretty much just abilities over ratings and you could say that it's been like that since they were put in a few years ago but it seems like it's only gotten worse and i think this year they're gonna dial that back a little bit because it's just gotten a little too out of hand i don't think they're gonna remove them from the game but i think they're gonna if not balance them better they're just gonna dial them back a lot to where they're gonna be slight advantages but i don't think we're gonna see them be nearly as overpowered as they were in years past number eight is the man defense nerf now this might make some people happy and this might make some people livid but again when something was too powerful one year it usually gets nerfed the next and this year man defense for most of the year was very very powerful but that was also due in part to some of the abilities like the knockout abilities or the inside shade abilities that made man defense even better but as the year went on defense kind of overall got worse but man defense was still remaining the meta mostly because zone defense just got so bad after the beta after the first couple weeks of the game as well they definitely dialed zone defense back a little too much and so man was kind of the only thing that most people felt comfortable running anyway so while man didn't stay as powerful throughout the whole year as it was during the first couple months of the game i don't think we're going to see a back-to-back -back year with man defense being the meta because we really have never seen that before every few years you get a man defense meta where man is way better than zone and the next year man defense always takes a big step back because at the end of the day nobody wants to play a game where people are just sitting in two man under every single game so i do think this next year going forward you're going to see man defense not be nearly as good and you're probably going to see a lot more people playing zone number nine is cross play we know that this is coming because mutt leaks a very reliable leaker said that there are no longer any platform 
specific servers. It's just Gen 4 and Gen 5. And PC is now going to be part of Gen 5 as well. So it looks like we're going to have crossplay between PC, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X slash S. And then on Gen 4, if they keep it that way as well, it'll be between PS4 and the Xbox One. Number 10, we're going to be getting a lot of playbook updates this year, which is more of a prediction on my part. But every year they do add some stuff to the playbooks. But I will say the last couple of years, they've kind of been lacking a little bit in this department. In fact, last year they actually removed a lot of stuff from playbooks. While they did add some new stuff, but they removed, you know, even more than what they added. Every few years we see a big playbook kind of either overhaul or they just add a significant amount of new formations to mess around with. It's about that time for them to do that again because the last couple of years have been kind of lacking, as I've said. And because they removed so much last year, in my opinion, the purpose of them removing the stuff last year that they said a lot of people weren't using anyway was so that they could eventually replace that with some new and better things. And they didn't get around to actually doing that in Madden 23, which means we're probably going to get that at the start of Madden 24. Now, if you want to learn more about those new gameplay animations I was talking about, you can check out this video right here on the screen.